and some details distressing. A dusty ride to one of Yemen's many front lines. The coalition says it's making progress, pushing the Houthi rebels back into their mountainous heartland. The fighting has been fierce. In these shattered villages, there are no civilians left. Throughout this long war, much of the real fighting has taken place up here in the mountains. It's some of the most rugged terrain in the world. For all the resources being thrown at this war, it's perhaps hardly surprising why it seems to be taking such a long time. These troops are from Sudan, part of the nine-member coalition led by Saudi Arabia. It's quiet at the moment. It was hard in the beginning, but now things are good. God willing, we will be moving forward soon. Momentum may well be with the coalition, but this war is almost four years old. There's no end in sight. Everyone involved in this war has been accused of wanton destruction. Yemen's Minister of Information says the Houthis have left this place uninhabitable. There is no one living here. That's because people are afraid to go back to their homes. The Houthis left landmines everywhere. This war has displaced millions of Yemenis. The Beni Haddad tribe say they've been forced to move twice. Their tents now scattered on open ground along the Saudi border. Salah and her family were asleep a month ago when an explosion ripped through their tent. They say the Houthis used a drone to target the camp. The Houthis have hit us. They've killed our children and our children's children. They've cut my grandson's head off. We couldn't find it. They've made our lives hell. The foreign secretary says he wants the warring parties to put aside anger and mistrust. But the UN has documented atrocities by all sides, and each day the war creates more victims. Paul Adams, BBC News, Yemen.